Cheers. Now we're on this uh, 10th anniversary. We're gonna, they're gonna read some vows. So, um, so I picked uh, uh, Psalm 139, which is maybe it's sort of unusual, and uh, to read it out of the Message Bible. Well, this kind of got me onto the Message Bible some. Uh, because I thought, we were just talking about it in the back, what, like what you guys know now about 10 years of life together as opposed to what you knew or thought you knew 10 years ago was a whole different thing. So I was thinking that, so when you were talking about it, I went, yeah, I think I picked the right one. So Psalm 139 is the one that, it'll read a little bit different out of this, but I think when I get into the ways, you'll see, oh yeah, that one. So it reads like this, God, investigate my life and get all the facts firsthand. I'm simply an open book to you. Even from a distance, you know what I'm thinking. You know when I leave, you know when I get back. I'm never out of your sight. You know everything that I'm going to say before I even get out one sentence. I look behind me, you're there. Look ahead, you're there too. Your reassuring presence, coming and going, this is almost too much and too wonderful. I simply can't take it all in. Now that's who God is to you. But I thought it's a little bit appropriate for couples. You kind of know each other pretty well after 10 years. You kind of, when you look behind, you're probably there. Uh, but it just is different after 10 years. It just is. So I'm going to pray for this time. Here, and then let you guys exchange your vows and say, okay, we're a blessing on you, and we'll go thank you. So, how about that? Let's pray. God, with the wind blowing in the trees, and a little family gathered here in the country, uh, we just pray, God, today, uh, just kind of a special time, our 10th anniversary. Uh, we just pray that the words that are going to be shared here, uh, certainly that you would just bless all that, God, but too, just how different life is after 10 years for all of us. We go back and think and just reminisce a little bit. And uh, so we would just pray, God, that you would just be here at this, in this place as they share some heartfelt words to each other. And God, I just, again, uh, it's a special time. It always kind of is. Anytime you take a little time to think about life, where you've been, what you've been through, what you're hoping for tomorrow those are just good days there's a couple kids in the mix now it's a family and, and another 10 years how different will it be then as well so we just pray over this the word shared in Jesus name Amen uh, I think DJ you go first I think. oh I go first yep if we did the first oh, ones you, you gotta dig it out Are you want to go sit with Cheesy in there? Or do you want to stay? Stay with that. Do you want to sit with Coley? No. Yeah. Are you going to be able to get that camera lady? Okay. You want me to hold you? I can do it. I got it. He's got it. He has good eyes. <laughs> He's still young. This is number two. <laughs> well, ten years is kind of a big deal. I'm surprised that I'm still alive. <laughs> um, but I guess I, I wrote a few things that I wanted to say, so <coughs> I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I will always be your greatest cheerleader, your biggest fan, and your partner in crime. <laughs> Allegedly. Um, I promise to be grateful for all the moments that we have together and have had together. The thick and the thin and the blind trust that you have to follow some of my crazy ideas. I promise to never stop growing in faith, hope, love, to keep an open heart, have some grace, maybe way deep down in there somewhere from time to time. Um, be a better man, a 
better husband, a better father, mm. and to not fight, but to lead our family on the path that God lays out for us. And not just because I want to be a farmer or a rancher or I have some dream, uh, but but to listen and, and to follow and to lead our family in, in the right direction. I promise to honor and respect the commitment that we made to each other 10 years ago and that we're going through again today. Um, that promise that we made to each other and to God and I promise that I will always love you. Are you okay? <laughs> she did great. <laughs> okay. Mine might be a little long, sorry. <laughs> Give all the well, words. She, I figured she's Norwegian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gotta talk a little more. From the moment we met as 18 year old kids to 10 years married and 16 years of loving one another. We continue to conquer life and grow together. We have faced the best of life and have been tested at the worst. In the moments where we doubted if our love was strong enough, God didn't. He reminded us time and time again that our love is enough with his love for us. He knew when our love needed to be challenged. He knew when it needed to be tender. He knew when it needed bending and breaking to build and grow stronger for not only us to make us better people, but better for each other and better for our family. He held us and taught us to not give up on each other and reminded us of the day we made our vows to him and one another that love never fails. He blessed us with the most beautiful souls as our children, Asher and Ariana and Audie. And he continues to help us grow as parents together. I prayed for a loving husband who is an even more amazing dad, and God answered my prayers and he gave me you. <laughs> the pieces I love most about you continue to grow stronger each day as I get to spend each day with you. The things I love most about you are that you are strong, you are brave. You have this beautiful gift of filling the room with laughter. You are the one who can make my heart smile with a single joke, a tender kiss, or a loving hug. You give our kids so much love, laughter, and joy whenever you walk into the room. You work so hard to provide for us. You are our world. Today, as we renew our promise to each other, I can honestly say I have never been more proud of us and more in love with you as my husband and the father to our kids. Today, for the rest of my life, I choose us on the good days, on the bad days, in all our flaws and our perfections. I choose to love you unconditionally with my whole heart. I choose us at the beginning and end of each day. I choose to build our family in faith and love and tenderness. I promise to do everything I can to give you the best of me, even at my worst. I promise to offer forgiveness in times where I need to forgive you. To value our differences just as much as our common ground. To talk kind to you and make you feel at home and safe to trust you as my husband and to be your best friend. I promise to pray for us, our marriage, and our children, always. I will love you for the rest of my life. I don't know if you kiss brides or not, but go ahead. <laughs> Definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we 
we're gonna do a prayer of blessing over them and then uh, that's kind of it so let's do that can we do that guys when we share words uh, at weddings and at vows uh, they are special and they have great meaning and great depth but it was amazing to hear after 10 what you're going to write, what you're going to say, and how different the words come out then, because that's real life. Uh, so we just pray a blessing on them at home, uh, this location out here, business and home, and all the mice and the dogs and everything else. Uh, God, I think it's, it's just kind of part of a big dream for them. And so I would just pray a, a blessing prayer today that you would just watch over them as a family, that you would grow all the areas that always need growth and sometimes that means chiseling away a few things that they will be open to that uh, they will listen not only to each other but you and their friends and folks around them that over the years as it continues to move forward that they just become deeper people individually and certainly God that their marriage will grow deeper and deeper each and every day they're good people and God, we just pray today, I think as the family gathered here, friends, that you would just simply bless them with all the riches of heaven and that you would make them into the people that you designed them to be and therefore as a couple, the very best that they can be. For the kids and this family, the spot, God, may you just richly be present always in their life through the thick things, through the thin things, through the best, through the most difficult. We know, God, that love is the greatest of all the gifts. It is the most fragile, but it certainly is the most special. I pray today this has been a good spot for them to be, and we launch this thing into the next 10 years. It's been a gift to be here with them. Bless them again, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray it so. Amen and amen. I don't have an extra.